Welcome to Art Starts Explores, our province of play. Are you ready to get creative with us this week? Let's review our three basic rules that guide us through our exploration and play. Rule one is respect. We want to respect ourselves, anyone we're making with, our tools and making space, and the lands and waterways where we're making. How can you practice respect when you explore, play, and make? Rule two is no expectations. If we're not expecting something to turn out good or bad, we're open to it going in a whole bunch of different ways. And that means that all respectful, creative explorations are great, regardless of what it ends up looking like. Try to do things you've never tried before and ask yourself, what will happen if I... Rule number three is nothing is for keeps. Everything we make together is a test, or a draft, or creative playtime. We're just trying things out. What can you make or try today and then take apart or recycle? What can we learn by making and not keeping? These are our three rules for when we explore together every week. Okay, what will we explore together this week? Hello, welcome to Art Starts Explores. My name is Payson. I'm the Public Program Assistant at Art Starts in Schools. This month, we're exploring mark making. If you watched the previous episodes, you will notice that K explored distance in mark making. Alyssa explored tone and mood. So today, I will explore repetition with you. The materials we need today are paper, scissors, and mark making tools. For example, I have Sharpie here, I have crayons, and I have ink. Um, I even have a thread. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna grab a paper, and okay, I don't really have an idea what kind of mark I'm gonna make. So I'm just going to do it randomly. Okay, grab a Sharpie and okay, let's do this. Okay, so because today I'm exploring repetition, so I'm going to repeat this pattern. Mm, okay, one more here, one more here. Um, now, I want to repeat it in different sizes. Okay. Here. Okay. And then, I want to fulfill the page with the same mark. Okay, this is my first experiment. Next, I want to try some crayon. Okay, um, but different marks. Let's start with a uh, triangle. Okay, mm some here. Now I want to use a different color. Oh. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna use orange. I'm just simply repeat the marks. They don't have to be exactly the same. Just repeating. Okay. Okay, add more color. Repeating the wave. Yes, more. Okay, small triangle here. Now I feel, wow, I'm painting a abstract landscape. This for me mm, look like the ocean and during the sunset time because I add some different colors like orange, you know, and the background color is also orange. So yeah, I feel, yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay. Let's do some more experiments. Okay, got another color. Okay, this time I want to try some ink. I dropped some ink on my paper, but it's totally fine with me because I think they are pretty. And maybe this one will drop some too. Oh, okay, this one is solid. Okay, let's put some here. How about this one? Wet leak, let's see. Oh yeah, look. Hmm. I'm making some marks without even painting or drawing. And I love it. It's a surprise. So now I'm gonna use the thread. Okay. I'm holding it like you are like the the toss you use for your teeth. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna grab some ink like this. Mm. Okay. And then just scratch it. Repeat. Repeat the same action and movement. Look, wow. I love it. Okay, another color. Okay. 
hold it, hold it. Okay, perfect. Um, do it here. Repeat the same movement. Look what I got. Wow. Now the final color. Okay, grab it with the thread. Same movement, repeating. more of this here nice okay how you feel about this I'm gonna put my material aside How you feel about this? I feel maybe I'm in front of a fountain, but without the fountain itself. It just, you know, the water here in the sky, and then maybe this is the, uh, the ground left with water and the reflection of the light, different colors, see? I just repeating the same movement. This time, I didn't repeat drawing something on the paper. This time, I'm just grab some tools and then I repeat the same movement or even with the ink. I just, you know, make some drops, repeat the same movement or actions. Now I got this and I'm quite satisfied. Okay, I need to let it dry first. Okay, let's put it here. Okay. So this month we're actually doing a collaborative work um, on mark making. So Kay and Alyssa, they both left me um, some marks they made in the previous episodes. So let's have a look. Okay, so this part is from Kay. Let me have a look. Mm. Two faces. And what this can be. Okay. They look like leaves, even this one. So one, two, three, four, five, five leaves with patterns on it, with marks on it, random marks. And I got two faces. What can I do with them? Mm. I feel, yes. How about this? Okay. Two baby worms sleep on the bed made of leaves. Mm. Okay. Now I had a look of Kay's work. How about Alyssa's work? Alisa was exploring tones and moods uh, with different marks, so wow. This is a tornado. Okay, what's this? Could be a... Um, a fish? I don't know, I'm guessing. It can be anything this oh this is kind of repetition too 
see one two three four and this one this rectangle is filled with you know a different types of line how about this can be water bubbles this mm, can be a net okay so now i have reviewed their work i'm thinking how can i combine them with what i've explored repetition okay okay now i'm grabbing a bigger paper okay put it in the middle and um, let's see Since I'm doing repetition, I'm gonna... And I see, see a lot of repetitions here. So I'm gonna cut it. Okay. One. the water bubbles This one, I don't really want to cut it. I want it to put it here, like a wall. Okay, and then for this element, okay. Okay. Oh, I think I also need a glue stick. Give me a second. Okay, now I got a glue stick. For me, this is like a, now this looks like a, how to say, um, 
a wall but maybe half transparent or made of glass and with some decorations maybe stained glass okay now i'm gonna add more elements from alisa now i want to put this in a different way here 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 just put them on the paper randomly Now I'm gonna follow her. I'm gonna repeat the pattern. I want to add to this. Okay, got something blue from Kate. Mm, maybe lay on top of it or here. A connection between these two space. Yes, maybe here. Now, how can I repeat case work? I'm gonna use crayon again. Maybe I can do this this time. making a signal maybe this is a Wi-Fi connection okay so now I got three parts but they're all connected what else I can add to it two faces Brown K. Okay. Maybe these two buddies they are enjoy using internet under the water here and maybe here as well. Surfing on the internet. Okay. And I think my image is quite full. I'm gonna flip it and add some more stuff here. From Alisa. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one as well. Now, before I attach these two pieces on the paper, I'm gonna draw first. Okay, for this one, Okay, 
and then for this one I don't really mind if they overlap with each other From this way, I feel they could be trees. But if I look at them in this way, or this way, I feel they can be a fence. They can be a fence before I enter this building or this space. Mm, I like that idea. Okay, now. I'm gonna attach them here, maybe in this way. Okay. See, when I'm using my glue sticks, I'm even repeating the pattern. Cool. Now I have some leaves left. I don't need glue stick anymore. I can just insert them. Okay, let's see. This way, hmm, I don't know. I don't really know what's this, but if I look at this way, I think, oh no, maybe this way. Look, it can be a monster. This is the monster's head. And then this is the teeth of the monster. Wow. The jaw. Mm -hmm. And then the monster is trying to destroy the fence. Cross to the other other words. Look, we have another word here with two happy people here. Yes, so this thin paper could be a separation between two words. One safe, the other one, oh, a little bit dangerous. Okay. Yes, so that's it. This is our episode for today. We explored repetition in mark making and we used a lot of different tools. And here, another work, repetition of movement. Here we got repetition of two different marks on one image and here we got repetition of one mark but we repeated them in a quite different way same size different sizes they look like wow different universes to me okay yes thank you for watching and I'm going to clean my table uh, and I will leave the camera on. You can clean it with me. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you.